Good morning, Marcus Conti, former sanitation enforcement agent for the city of New York, stomping out corruption, retaliation, discrimination, fraud, abuse, <laughs> and other things. I want to bring back a, um, this is not uh, <clears throat> breaking news, but it seemed to have gone under the radar regarding uh, fake tickets at DSNY. This was a, uh, I'm going to play a piece at the, uh, right after I, I, I show a couple of things. A uh, piece by WABC uh, Eyewitness News, Jim Hoffer, covered this. This is a guy who uh, got, uh, got like uh, over a thousand posting tickets sent to his home. Was accused of, uh, you know, posting, posting signs all over the city and uh, ultimately, they the DSMY the said they owed him ninety two. He owed them ninety two thousand dollars. So it was up in the Bronx. And uh, but what what the uh, what the report doesn't uh, talk about is what I want to fill in the gaps. That this was done by the uh, the, the, the 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 story you're going to see was actually um, a posting unit out of Manhattan. Okay, and um, some of one of the co-conspirators in in my case, Conti versus DSNY, in terms of the in the case of the ticket quota and discrimination, there's the same um, one of the same uh, lieutenants appears. Her name is Torado, Miss Torado, Lieutenant Torado. Uh, I want to clarify one other thing too, with in, regarding DSNY uh, enforcement. There's a lot of, they, they claim to be sergeant, lieutenant, captain, inspector, whatever. But essentially there's two, there's two components of, uh, of these employees. There's agent and then there's associate agent. An associate agent encompasses lieutenant, sergeant, uh, captain, okay? So, um, but what, what I want to, what I want to demonstrate here is that this is just, uh, this is what's, in Wall Street, this would be called painting the tape, where they're basically writing a bunch of tickets that that either don't exist or they failed to research it and find out who the proper uh, person to give the ticket was. So they just, they don't care. It's a 10-ticket quota. They're following the quota. The agents go out in the morning. They find these things stuck on the poles, and they come back, and they sit in a little room, and they just generate tickets. Now, that's about, that's a, close to a thousand tickets. So not only are they wasting, not only are they not, you know, they, they're not actually, you know, enforcing the law, finding the people that actually did this, but they're sitting in the office wasting taxpayer money, just writing fake tickets, generating, generating uh, fake tickets uh, for the quota. Again, I've been quoting a number, 84% according to the mayor's uh, a mayor a mayor study in 2015 roughly um, 84 percent of all tickets contested are proven to have no violations found so here's another example of it right this is one guy getting bombed with nine you know nine, 90 you know ninety two thousand dollars worth of tickets it's safe to say that uh, this is not an isolated case so so again, I'll put up the, uh, the, these are again, they're coming out of the Manhattan zone. All right, so here's the, uh, here's the parking, I'll, I'll flesh this up for you. This is where they hide themselves up in the Manhattan zone, 130th and, and Park. All right, and then there's another parking, uh, there's another uh, posting unit of in, over in Brooklyn at uh, 5115 Flushing Avenue. Here's the Google Maps of that, okay, and you get to see where they're, uh, where they're hiding themselves. All right, so so here you go. This is Jim Hoffer's report back in um, in February of 2017, and all these tickets again, all were generated in 2015. That was the year that I worked for the Department of Sanitation. So uh, so enjoy this, and um, you know, just another nail in the coffin. Peace out. This is a bunch of tickets that summons us. The Department of Sanitation has sent them to me. The sanitation summonses started coming in Bernardo Concepcion's mail starting in 2015. 1,056 tickets. How much money do they say you owe? They say that I owe $92,000. $92,000? Yeah. For what? Illegal posting of signs? Illegal personal signs on the street. 
problem is these room for rent signs, which were illegally posted all over the Bronx, have nothing to do with Bernardo Concepcion. They're ads for this rental business in Kingsbridge, miles from his apartment, a business he's never had any dealings with. You keep telling this is not you. Yes, I'd be going to Cork, uh, back and forth, back and forth. He thought he had finally broken through the bureaucratic wall when in January, a judge for the city's Office of Administrative Trials and Hearings ruled in his favor. The judge declaring that based on Mr. Concepcion's testimony and evidence, he has been named improperly, and therefore, the summonses are dismissed. The court decided this is not you. It's not me, yeah. Two weeks later, this letter arrived in the mail saying he still owes the city $72,000. This is a type of harassment, you know, what they doing. Hours after we reached out to the sanitation department, we were told that the city dropped its prosecution of the summonses against Mr. Concepcion, saying that he's no longer responsible for them. That news lifting nearly two years of worry off this 67-year-old livery driver's shoulders. I feel happy with the big smile. But I'm really happy for this, thanks to my uh, uh, client who recommends me to see, uh, to, to call uh, seven on your side. So sanitation adding here that they are pleased to have been able to resolve what they're calling a misunderstanding.